this video, I'm going to be breaking down the Trips tight end offense. I think Trips tight end is the best offense in the game if ran correctly. So if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit subscribe. I upload new videos every single day that can help you get better at this game. And also just released by Trips tight end offensive guide. So if you want to learn the entire offense, the entire offense that I believe will be the number one offense by the end of the season, I think Trips tight end is absolutely incredible. So if you want to learn that entire offensive scheme, there's a link in the description. Go down, click that link. It'll take you right over, and you can get the guide for just 15 bucks. Now, today we are talking about my favorite quick step play. It is the curl flat. I'm going to give you a really, really good setup for this, and uh, you're going to be able to snap the ball super, super fast. So the setup is really simple, and let's just get into the video. So curl flat. I'm in the New England trips, and uh, what we're going to do, I like to run this. I can run this on either hash. I like to run this with my trips to the short side, but all we're going to do is we are going to smart route our uh, post and then we're gonna streak our tight end and snap the ball as fast as humanly possible now the first read on this is the running back right there the user took the running back so I shouldn't have thrown it but I wanted to show you the first read so you're basically making a two-man read does he go to the running back if he goes to the running back okay then what we're gonna do is we are gonna either hit our curl obviously the pass protection practice is absolutely incredible we're either gonna hit our curl or we're going to hit um, or we're going to hit uh, Chris Godwin now, if people are just going to consistently run man coverage on this, go ahead and just put the tight end. Instead of putting him on a streak, put him on a quick out. That'll get him out of man coverage really, really quickly. You'll see here. In this year's game, by the way, uh, tight ends are really, really, really good at beating man coverage. Uh, take a look. I mean, we're just manipulating man coverage really, really easily. And the beauty of tight ends in this year's game is you break a lot of tackles with tight ends. In my opinion, you know, I actually like to run this almost occasionally uh, with like ace personnel and I'll put another tight end in that outside slot position and the reason why is because nine times out of ten that outside slot's going to be on a flat route so it's not that big of a deal um, but anyways so now you know and again I'm just getting shedded my wife's getting shedded away so let me show you one other thing against man but we're going to take this guy this blitz out of the way um, so the next thing about this is man if you get man you got kind of two reads but look at this circle receiver. Once he gets over the top, that's a laser. And again, we can't catch the ball, but that's a, that's an absolute laser. Okay, and I'll show you it one more time. So basic, and then we'll talk about zone. So why this is so good is because uh, he just gets so deep. That's part of it, and also because it's so consistent against man and zone. That's what makes it so good. So again, here he's going to run right there. Gilmore kind of bagged him, so you can just come back to your curl. The curl flat concept is just every bit as good as it was last year, and uh, most people have stopped running it, but I would recommend run this concept. It's really, really, really good, that curl flat. Um, but what you'll see, there we go. You'll see circle. Look how deep he gets. There's no zone drop in the game that will guard it, and that's what makes this play so powerful. They have to make a decision. They have to use their circle. If they don't use our circle, they're absolutely screwed. So let's run through the coverages. We're going to show you this against cover four drop. I like to double team on the outside if I possibly can. Um, if I don't think they're going to send a heavy blitz, I'll do that. Because I like to get out of the pocket on this play. Because what you're going to see here is look at how, look at that. That's cover four drop. And he's getting, he's getting very much so over the top of that coverage. And again, I'll show it to you one more time uh, out of this. So cover four drop, smart route circle. Uh, streak X and then go. Hopefully we don't get shedded. Pass lead back up. You can rat catch that, and that could be a potential touchdown um, if that's not Stephon Gilmore with a with his uh, X factor lit up or whatever. Okay, so that's cover four drop. Super simple, super effective, very very good. Um, so now what I wanted to do is I wanted to talk quickly uh, about uh, Mike Blitz three or like cover three. So cover three is going to be much more open. Obviously, again, you've got your curl flats. You've got your underneath. But the best thing about this play is this right here. That right there, you don't get that animation, but that right there is going to get open. Now, what I like to tell people is go ahead and put deep out elite on that player. It, deep out elite, a lot of people are starting to find out that that is probably one of the better abilities in the game. And the reason why it's so good is because it really helps with those sideline catching animations. They're not going to drop stuff. Um, they're they're going to be able to catch the ball much, much better. So, again, just pass like that to the right. Brady is just absolutely throwing ducks. But, you, I mean, you see, it's, it's wide open, right? It's wide open. And we'll show it one more time, and then we're going to talk about cover two. Uh, cover two is probably the most called play at this point in the season, especially at high levels. 
uh, a lot of people are looking to cover two and the reason why they like to go to cover two is because in cover two what they can do is they can double maple relatively easily so again here just passing down and away i don't know what brady's doing but he's open just trust me he'll catch it put gunslinger on your quarterback he'll be wide open if you don't have gunslinger um pass the elite will be fine brady's just absolutely selling right now so let me show it to you one more time just for the video and then we'll talk about cover three obviously you've got your underneath you got your curl you got your flat you've got all that stuff so just throw it right there if you have to and you see it's open okay gets over 30 yard clouds really really well okay now tampa 2 this absolutely kills tampa 2 and the reason why it's so good against tampa 2 is because Tampa 2 oftentimes looks to those cloud flats to play super, super deep. So even if they put a 30-yard cloud out there, even if they uh, take the guy on the middle and they put him into the deep middle zone, right? Those are all options, right? But the problem is they're still not going to be able to get there. This thing is going to get so much more open against cover 2 than any other coverage. As you can see right there, just absolute laser. I mean, that's I, I want to say that is a 50 to 60-yard dot against cover two, cover three, cover four. This is also really, really, really good if they are in match coverage. So if they are in match coverage, the setup is exactly the same. You're just gonna wait for him to get open. Pass leave that to the right. Brady can't throw the dang ball. But you see, I mean, he's wide open. Now again, you still, again, I gotta stress this because it's really important in trips because you have so many plays like this that are big play potential, right? You have the big play potential. But if the underneath is open, take the underneath. I'm just telling you from experience, it's going to go a lot better for you. In a way, there you see McCourty just going crazy. I threw it a little bit late. Um, but the bottom line is this play is, is incredible. I'm going to go over it against a blitz here in just a second because this was one of my favorite plays if people are going to blitz me because I have two really quick reads that I'm going to show you in this play. Right now, I just want to show you this deep post, and then we're going to get into some other stuff. So there you see very good route okay chris godwin does not have deep out elite but if you put deep out elite on the guy it is significantly better now what you're going to see about that angle route that angle route has to be user it has to be user very much so so what you're going to get is let's say you get like a again we're leading the people we're leading the defense to have to play mabel coverage on us so let's say that you have at the snap of the ball the user goes to the left if the user goes to the left, then this was wide open right here, right? And I can easily just throw that. Oftentimes, I can rack catch that for about 10 to 15 yards, okay? So that's option one. If that's not open, so you're reading the user. If the user goes to the, to the right now, and again, if they're in Mabel, then you've got a snap throw right now that you will hit over and over again. I can't tell you how many times I've thrown that ball. Now, obviously, if they're dropping yellow in the area, don't throw it. But if there's no if there's no no person in that grass, go ahead and throw the football. Um, it's a really, really, really good read. Okay. So then, what that's going to make them do is they're going to have to play hard flat here. They have to play vertical hook here. They're probably going to go with a double Mabel over here, and then they're going to have to use the running back right and basically pass the running back off uh, until they can you know until they can do that. So let's just assume all of that happens. All of that that I just said happens. They make all those adjustments, right? What's open? Well, your curl. And that's the beauty of this play. Someone is always open, and literally, you can snap the ball so fast. They don't have time to make adjustments, guys. They will not have time to make adjustments. Your curl route, 90% of the time, will be open if nothing else is. 90% of the time, the curl route will be open. So you go boom, boom, no, no, okay, everything's covered. I'll take the flat, and we'll just live to go and continue to stay on schedules and offense. This play is blitz proof also. So let me show you how this works against pinch two. And then, uh, so again, pinch two here, uh, all we're doing is we're making our quick reads. If that's open, take it, right? If that's open, take it. If it, most of the time what people will do um, out of pinch two is they're gonna user a linebacker, right? One of the linebackers. So if the linebacker goes to the right, again, boom, easy. Another thing you can do against pinch two, this is pinch very specific, but what you can also do to pinch two is you could go ahead and work this left side. If that, that curl will always pull that soft squat, you could take that for five yards. However, if they're in hard flats, I just want to show you some of these reactions and how this works, but let's say they're in hard flats, okay? 
what you're going to see, oh, he's going to stay. I can just throw the curl. It's a real quick read, real, real quick read, very much so open. And uh, then you don't have to really worry about the user, right? There's so many, so many things that we can do with this concept and this play, but I absolutely love this. And I would encourage everyone to start running trips tied in. So if you want to learn the entire offense trips tied in, there's a link in the description below that will take you to the website. You can get the entire offense for just $15. And then real quick before we go, I wanted to remind you about my Patreon. My Patreon is a subscription. It's a $10 a month subscription. And basically what it gets you is it gets you access to everything. Unlimited access to all of my exclusive tips, all of my eBooks. We have 10 eBooks over there right now, seven defensive guides and three offensive guides. Any kind of defense you want to play, we pretty much have an eBook over there for you. So I would really encourage you, if you want to take your Madden game to the next level, be sure to join that Patreon. For just $10 a month, you'll unlock everything and you can cancel it whenever you'd like. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.